Welcome back to Elden Ring. Before we continue what we were doing in the last episode, I have three things that we discovered in the other playthrough that I want to go over here. So first one is we're at Rhea Lucaria. We're going from the debate parlor side of grace, out the gates, and then to the right. There's a passageway here that leads to a piece of loot that I think might actually be really good for my build. This is the only one of the three that we didn't find naturally. We found it by... Uh, we were thinking we maybe were missing something at Rhea Lucaria, so we just looked up on the wiki, everything that was here, and discovered this. Don't mean to make a habit of that, I don't want to just Google everything just to make sure I 100% it, but, you know, we found it, so I'm not going to pretend I don't know it's here. So the main thing is Radigan Icon, which... Shortens your spell casting time. Ah! I forgot they were there. Oh, right. I have my sleepy sword on. Let's see if I can make them go to sleep. Sleep. Oh, Having a little napsy. That's it. Uh, there's an item on the other side. Crystal bud. So the Radigan icon. Yeah, shortened spellcasting time. As the husband of Renala of Caria, the red-haired Radigan studied sorcery, and as the husband of Queen Marika, he studied incantations. Thus did the hero aspire to be complete. So I read the wiki and it says that this gives you 30 virtual dexterity towards your spell casting time. Which means, well, means a couple things. Apparently your dex, dex stat affects your spell casting time. So anytime I increase my dexterity, I guess I'm getting slightly faster at casting spells. And it also means that this is going to make a pretty huge difference. 30 virtual dex. I mean, that's going to take me from effectively from 30 to 60 dex when it comes to casting spells. But the wiki didn't mention what that actually means for speed. Like, how how much of a speed increase do you get with each point of dex? I don't know. 30 sounds like a lot. But let's see if we can tell a difference. And then switch. That was noticeably faster to me. Okay, I want to do a timer. To get through a full bar of FP, casting the... What spell is it? Great Glenstone Shard? Without the Radigan Icon, took 12.9 seconds. And with the Radigan Icon, took 11.67 seconds. So, that leaves me with about a 10% decrease in my casting time. That's pretty good. I could just feel the difference, not to mention see it numerically. I think that's more important than the stamina boost. Unless, I mean, it would definitely be worth switching these out if I'm, say, fighting a boss where I'm just not going to use magic or something like that. Or not use magic very much, perhaps. But generally, I'm using magic a lot. So, I think I'm going to stick with that instead of the stamina regeneration one. Thing number two. Remember this person in Lake Liurnia who wanted me to find the guy just down the way who stole their necklace or something like that? Yeah, well, we found the house. It actually was just down the way. It's actually extremely, extraordinarily, mind-blowingly close. I don't know how I missed it before. Yeah, it's just right here. It's that close. This is called the Boil Prawn Shack. And there's the dude, boiling prawns. What are you looking at? You trying to start something, mate? Give me the necklace. Ah, that necklace what you're after, is it? 
Mm. Well, show me what it's worth to you, and I'll consider parting ways with it. I'm not in love with it or nothing. Deal. You're a shrewd one, Chief. First, you hand me the runes. And don't try nothing, neither. So we have to buy it from them. Or I guess we could kill them, but a thousand runes is really nothing to us. Mm. Alright. Take it. Things no damn use to anyone anyway. Your bloody idea, mate. Don't come crying to me later. Oh, yes. That is my missing necklace. Thank you kindly. I am in your debt. Did I forget to announce myself? I am Raya, in the service of Lady Tanith of the Volcano Manor. I seek stalwart tarnished, who might join our house. You are very brave yourself. Not only a steady hand, but a steady heart. Merciless, even to your own kind. Such strength is precisely what my mistress seeks. Please, take this. Volcano Manor Invitation. Brave tarnished. Seek the Altus Plateau, the realm of the Erd Tree. Most tarnished are doomed to wander the outskirts of the lands between, peering wistfully at the towering Erd Tree. But you are no ordinary tarnished. And once that is proven, the Volcano Manor will fully extend its invitation to fight amongst a family of champions. Oh, and one more thing, only for you. This land of Liernia is connected to the Altus Plateau by the Grand Lift of Dectus, beyond the High Road. But the lift has been defunct for an age, meaning there's no simple means of passage. Instead, you must seek the old ruins in the cliff. At the base of the valley, near the Grand Lift, there's an old tunnel. It was excavated from both ends, linking Liernia to the Altus Plateau. I have faith in you, a champion through and through. I do hope that we can meet again. Seek the at the base of the it was ex I have faith in I do. Very helpful that they told us about that, but we have already discovered that. That's this area up here. Remember we fought the magma worm and then hit the abandoned coffin, which I think was at the plateau. Seemed like it was at the top, and then I just stopped there. But yeah, we have an invitation to the Volcano Manor. Does that not sound incredibly cool? I'm really glad I found that in the other playthrough. I don't know what would have happened if I didn't. The third and final thing was something, I think, around Murkwater Coast or Murkwater Cave. Somewhere in this area. I heard a voice. I didn't actually explore what the voice was in the other playthrough, so I don't know. But I heard a voice of an NPC that I think wanted to talk with me, one that I never found. So, let's see if I can do that. I think they were hiding. And I remember seeing people talk about this. Oh. It, hold on. <laughs> hold that thought. Uh, did we just find where the, um, the star landed? Because th that was not there before. I thought based on where the light looked like it was going, it was over here. I was way off. Or maybe the cutscene was just misleading. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's definitely new. I'm gonna mark that on the... What? Just a bird flying away. I'm going to mark that on the map. It looks like it's perhaps in the Mistwood. But yeah, I remember some people talking early on in the game's release about 
somebody who like hid it as a bush. So I suspect it's that person. Oi! You, you there? Could you help us out, Cully? Hmm. You? Y yeah, you there? Stop pretending you can't see me. Oh. What'd you go and do that for? I couldn't see you. Attacking required a head. No, you can just roll into him. It's fine. Good sword ahead. Therefore, seek rolling. Hold on. What's this item? Huh. Maybe that's to attract you near to where you can hear them. Claude turned me into a tree. You were just breaking the spell, weren't you? Thank you. The name's Bok. I was pushed out of the cave. Told not to come back. Not ever. Then I ended up as a tree. <laughs> Lucky you came along, really. Oh, what a shame. When they threw me out of the cave, they took everything I owned. And so this is all I have to express my thanks. I hope you can forgive me. Why is it always mushroom? <laughs> it's fine. Or, or if you can afford to wait for a while, I could sneak back into the cave and bring back something of actual value. Then I'd be of some real use to you, I reckon. You don't need to be of any use to me. Right. But I'll need a moment. I'm, I'm frightened of them. So I have to gather myself. My knees start knocking. Just thinking about that god-awful cave on the shore. The cave on the shore? They must be talking about the coastal cave? Right. I'm... I'm... Fr one. Maybe I should go there next. See if they're there. Yeah, there we go. You okay? leave this place at once they'll rush in and beat you to a pulp you'll end up just like me all right i found a sewing needle in here i can give it to them wait is that what i think it is you got it back for me my sewing needle you go and do a thing like that my mum was a seamstress and that sewing kit was all i had to remember her by i always wanted to be just like sweet old mum oh, then i s suppose i i can't just curl up and die can i preferably not thank you you're very kind i always wanted to be a seamstress like like my mum then I suppose I... I can't just curl up and die, can I? Thank you, you're very... I always want... Then... I'll probably see them again. I wonder where, though. Thank you. No, no, no. I, I wanted to read the note. Try rushing... Oh, no, that's not about them. Yeah. Uh... Perhaps I'll find them back at the table? Of Lost Grace? <gasps> hey, wait a minute. I didn't find them, but I did find Nefeli Lou, was it? In the basement. Ah, you. Please, leave me be. It's pathetic, I know, but I... I need to think. Wait, though, I'm, I'm supposed to give them a potion from that prick, whatever his name was. Ah, 
about you. Please, it's pathetic, I know, but... Huh. Okay. I decided to look up on the wiki where I can find this person next, because given that you're supposed to do it so early on, like right in the beginning of the game, I figured I probably would have no idea where they would be, because you're probably supposed to naturally find them by just exploring. But I've already been through this entire area so much, I figured I would never come across them unless I went to every single site of grace, which would just be tedious. So yeah, I just found out that they can be here. They can be in one of four locations, and this is one of them. Good to see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bok, the demi-human. You helped me before. And please, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Don't tell me? Master, I was wondering... Do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? Mm -hmm. I would well rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and well, I am your personal seamster after all. <laughs> okay. So can they do anything that I can't myself? That gets rid of the little cape thing. Yeah, that gets rid of the cape. Gets rid of the outer shell. That gets rid of the cape. It's mostly capes. Okay, well clearly they want to do something. So I should give them some work, you know? Give them some experience. So how about you do that one? Oh, going so soon? Please do be safe on your journeys. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. I know there's more to their quest. I didn't spoil how to advance it more. Do they need to just alter more? Soon. Maybe I'll rest and then talk to them again. Bok, the seems ready to make a job. Huh. Oh. I can't speak with them any further. What if I speak to him at one of the other locations he appears at? Bok, the seem ready to make a job. Nothing different. Oh. Going so soon. Uh, please. That's the three new things that we discovered in the other playthrough. One final thing I want to do is my wife has a request. They want to see what happens when I put a dog to sleep. Not in that way. Just literally when I make them sleep. So I'm going to make a doggy sleep. Ah! Wait, that, no, 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 no. Need my shield out. There we go. Oh, I'm ruined up. I really don't want to die. Well, they're attacking each other. There we go. Sleepy. Sleepy doggy. Oh. <laughs> they made it fall asleep? I thought I had to make contact with them and hit them, but I don't. Just the cloud, like, hit them. Oh, look at them. The other one's still sleeping. Ah! You woke the other one up. Mean. Yeah, look at it. The cloud made them both go to sleep? Or, no, just the one. You know what? Worth it. Sleepy. Now let's check out where that star landed. Yeah, it seems to be just south of the Mistwoods. Closest one seems to be Fort Hyde West. 
or perhaps Waypoint Ruins Cellar, if you want to drop down. Oh, I am using Sword of St. Trina's now, by the way, and I upgraded it to plus five. Plus five is actually a pretty high upgrade because it um, uses the special stones. There's a lot of bloodstains suggesting you don't just jump for it. Just getting started. Oh, it's so cool how the environment has just changed so much. It's also really cool how these fragments are just suspended in air, gently twirling around. I can get down there. Am I meant to go down? I, I think so. No horse ahead. I'm actually really not sure what I'm supposed to do. I guess fall down to that level in front of me? down. Jumping ahead. Jumping required ahead, but first off, down. Grass, and then spirit spring. Grass. Grass? What do they mean? I can't see anything down there. Liar ahead, try jumping. Yeah, no. If you just have enough faith, there will be a spirit spring down there. I think I'll go this way. This seems more sensible. I think we're close to Nokron. Or perhaps this is Nokron? Nokron. Eternal city. We're here. Oh, the music change. I love it.
Oh, I could jump over there. I think. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh. I think you have to sprint for that jump. What is... What is that? Silver Tear Husk. A hardened husk shed by a formless life form known as the Silver Tear, found in and around the Eternal City. The Silver Tear makes mockery of life, reborn again and again into imitation. Perhaps one day it will be reborn a lord. A formless life form. Ghost flame torch. Causes frost buildup. How odd. Scales with strength X and int. Metal torch that burns with cold ghost flame. Tool of the fallen hawks who prowl the underground rivers. When the band's last embers were used up in their long search, they began to burn the bones of their fellows, acquiring the cold ghost flame, but sealing their fate as dwellers of the underground for all eternity. How's the weight? Um, not too bad. It's a little bit less weighty than the steel wire torch, but more than the normal torch. It, uh, I would stay as medium load, even if I used it. It gives me a more natural light, right? Like these have a very reddish hue. This one's more white. Let's go with it. Plus, it's really cool looking. And it's literally cool. Oh, there's the formless life forms. That beetle over there is one I don't need. It's just for healing potions. There's a lot of bloodstains down there, suggesting that the formless life forms might be quite dangerous. Item ahead, try jumping. Wait, I can't target them. Oh, I can target that one. I just want to look at the different forms that they have. Okay, I can shoot things at me. They don't have that much health. Yeah, did two damage to it. Go to sleep. I'm thinking they might be immune to sleep. They don't seem terribly dangerous. How many souls? 246? Okay, not that many.
<laughs> Instead of Fortnite, Fort Morning. Okay, that's a good one. Fort Evening. <laughs> Why are those fort jokes clustered there? I don't know, but I love it. They are not particularly susceptible to Ghost Flame. I don't really need to take it out, but I guess I will. Sure. Get my one flask back, why not? Sorry, Beetle. What if one of these windows was open and I just fell down into it? Level 5 smithing stone. That's a really high level. Dog. I'm not sure what you're calling a dog, but I agree. Survive that fall? Not sure. I better fall here. It's at least a little higher up. What are these things, by the way? They're holding ghost flame torches, they seem to be undead, and they also have a sword. They're not skeletons, though. They're more like zombies. Oh, some of them have bows. How badly does that hurt? Let's get shot. Mm, not too bad, but it does give me... Is that frost? What is it that they have around their skull? Do you see that? It's a series of very regular holes around their skull. What is that? Do they have their heads drilled or something? Are they holes or are they just wounds of some sort? Yes, a side of grace. Okay, well, I'm sure this isn't a very long episode. 
Sorry, but I do have to go to bed soon. I just really wanted to play some Elden Ring. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when we return, we're going to explore more of the city of Nokrom. <laughs>